Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate the support. And it's so interesting, you guys came out as yourselves, straight to the point out of the uh, Black Moon Astrology deck. And you guys are the star at the bottom of the deck. I just started using this deck. I was using the um, Day of the Dead Tarot before, but I'm changing it up for the last couple of signs. So here you are, Aquarius, bringing in this new and eccentric energy like you always do, okay? So if you are um, interested in any of the readings that I offer, I am a 13th sign astrologer. You can get in a reading down there. You can also get tarot readings from me. Anything you want to find out that I do is in the description box below, okay? I also do 18 plus readings on Patreon. Please follow me over there and support if you would like. I would appreciate that. So let's get into your reading, Aquarius. We have, I won't cry for you. How Aquarian of you. You're detached from someone, Aquarius. You found your footing. You have, is this me in reverse? So there's no more like codependency with somebody. At, at least that's what it seems, okay? This reminds me of Cancer's reading. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer. So you do have Masquerade here. So I feel like you are telling yourself that you are done with somebody, that you won't cry for them. You won't miss them. Um... And, you know, I believe it. Aquarians, you guys have a really good way of detaching from people and not letting things bother you. Um, but I just feel like with the masquerade here and is this me in reverse, I just don't 100% believe it. Um, I just don't believe that you are really completely over somebody. And I know a lot of people don't want to admit that, especially Aquarians. You guys are very... Uh, proud energies like especially when it comes to emotions you guys don't like to be letting people know how your emotions is really going right we do have taurus at the bottom of the deck so this could definitely be someone that um has taurus in their chart significantly somewhere or i feel like you've been with this person for a long time or you've been dealing with them for a long time because taurus talks about longevity it talks about roots okay uh so very fixed on someone you, you're not talking to them though you probably detach from them though i will say that so let's see what's going on for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? What is going on for the sign of Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on for Aquarius? We have the Four of Cups. You're bored, Aquarius. You're bored. I feel like you think about messaging someone and then you stop yourself. You might even go to text them and delete the text message, okay? Keep in mind, this could be some, how someone feels about you because we do have cross watchers who watch this. So if you're not thinking about reaching out to someone, someone definitely could be thinking about reaching out to you. Yep, there's the judgment card right there in the flesh. I'm telling you guys, it's serious. So you could have a Capricorn that wants to reach out to you, a Scorpio, a Cancer, another Aquarius, a Taurus, okay? We have the Eight of Cups. But I feel like you're emotionally um, disconnected from this person. So this is a lot of thinking about reaching out to someone. This is a lot of thinking about reconciliation with someone, but you're not doing it. You are not reaching out to this person. Even if you want to, even if you think about it, you feel like it's on them to make the, the, the call. You're, you feel like it's on them to, make, to reach out. Um, I feel like you would be open to talking to this person, but you've completely checked out emotionally when it comes to the situation. You've detached from this person. All right. I don't feel like you wanted to be over with this person, though. I feel like with this, I won't cry for you. You're saying like, I, if I know it, I do want to be with you and it sucks that we're not talking. It sucks that we're in separation, but I'm not going to let that be the reason that I keep tolerating whatever it is that we have an issue with. You know, we have the nine. Uh, this is the seven of wands. Some of y'all, you block someone. OK, so that could be literally maybe you've been thinking about whether you should unblock someone and message them. Um, I do think the advice is to unblock this person. If you've been going back and forth in your head, if you want to unblock this person, um, I don't think you need to message them. That's not what I'm getting right now, but I do feel like you need to unblock this person so that they can reach out. This is definitely giving me cancer's reading. Some of you guys are dealing with a cancer. Uh, we have the seven of swords. Mm. Uh, judgment and the, I'm sorry, that's the five of swords. Sorry, that's the five of swords. My bad. So yeah, this, and this is Aquarian energy. Okay. So some of you, this could be a fire sign that you're resisting in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You want to talk to this person, Aquarius, five of swords. And yep, I was saying that in Cancer's reading. I'm telling you guys, go, if you have cancer in your chart or you, uh, are dealing with one, please watch their YouTube reading. This is so crazy. Um, but yeah, you want to talk to this person. So it, again, if you, no, you block someone or you put up a lot of walls and defenses. It's kind of time to let that down. 
and we have the what is this the nine of wands oh you're really like who pissed you off aquarius maybe because i said the seven of swords maybe this person did cheat on you or they betrayed you okay if even if you don't want to be with this person again it might be healing for you to like have a conversation with them to talk about why they did what they did or get an apology from this person but there's a lot of defense coming from you aquarius you're salty about something i'm sorry if it's not you it's your person someone got blocked or you blocked someone and it's like your ego the nine of wands is a lot of ego and there's a lot of pride that has has you saying you know what i'm not reaching out i'm not i'm not unblocking them i'm not talking to them again i don't know exactly what this person did to you but for you to show up in your true energy with this aquarius card yeah what are you doing in the meantime when you're not talking to this person? What are you doing? The Six of Pentacles, working on your finances, working on your stability, maybe even talking to someone else, true Aquarian way. Some of you, this could be a person that's outside of your marriage. Like maybe you're married and you have someone on the side. And since you're not talking to your side person, you decided to try to fix your relationship. I don't know what this person did, but you guys are not feeling it. And you're not open up. You're not opening up. Even if this person was to be messaging you or trying to hit you up, you you wouldn't know. You can't get that you're not getting the message from this person because they're blocked or you're you might have them on do not disturb, you're not reading their messages. I do want to get a little bit of the five of swords. Let's see, why are you like what is going on? What do they do? Page of Cups. Maybe you feel like this person played with your emotions. And then maybe you felt like even when they did apologize or when they did message you, it was bullshit. Like you feel like it wasn't enough. So this is diva aquarius energy definitely you guys are definitely in your diva energy right now which i mean i'm not mad at you if that's what you feel like you need to do if you're not ready to open up to someone if you're not ready to forgive then that's where you're allowed to be at you're allowed to you know be in that energy of not forgiving this person um but it's a very clear message here that someone has got you very closed off someone has got you to the point where you don't you don't really want to talk to them you think about them though with the four of cups and the judgment and you think about what would happen if you two started talking again so if you are cross watching for an aquarius and they've closed up on you and they have stopped talking they do think about you a lot they do think about what what whether you two should reconcile or not some of you this person could have had a child on you like some of you this person could have wouldn't have had a child with another person betrayed you or they were playing emotional games with the Page of Cups. They were being emotionally immature, okay? So this is a little bit of, I don't want to say self-sabotage Aquarius, but if you know you want to open up to somebody, if you know you want to at least have a conversation, then you might want to do that. Of course, you're going to wait. want to wait until you're ready because right now it's clearly showing me that you're not ready to deal with this person. Or like I said, if it's vice versa and it's your person and you're like, are they going to connect with me? Maybe they blocked me or maybe they've been closed off um so yeah just her pisces whatever um they, they i feel like this energy will pass like this is not permanent energy the five of swords here is telling me that this this is not going to stay like this even if you're telling yourself like oh i'm not talking to them again i mean i'm not god so i could be wrong but for a lot of you this feels temporary this feels maybe even retrograde um this feels like you're upset and like i tell people when you're really done with someone You'll be done with them whether you're upset or not. It's it's the emotions that make you tell yourself that you're upset. When, when you're not emotional about something, when you're very clear-headed and there's no emotional no emotion from it, um, that's when you know you're really done with a situation. This feels very emotional, even though again that's a that's like a toxic word to an Aquarian. And there's literally no cups here except from the Four of Cups, which is like obviously not a it's a melancholy card or whatever. Um, this feels like ego, um, even the fire. It feels like anger, maybe, you know, principle. The principle of the situation is what I'm hearing. My brother always talks about the principle of shit. Um, but either way, I'm definitely getting um, this doesn't feel like it's going to be forever. It feels like eventually you will start talking to this person again because I'm like, her eyes are bleeding. She's like, I won't cry for you, but all right, really, you crying. They're, you doing more than just crying. Actually, I'd rather her just be crying with all that coming out her eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you might need to cry. I can't see him coming down my eyes, but I got to make the song cry. I was just listening to that song earlier. I purposely went and searched that song and put it on. I don't know why I just felt like I needed to, but that might apply to some of you. I can't see him coming down my eyes, so I got to make the song cry. For some of you, 
whether you're an Aquarius watching this or a cross watcher, it might be the Aquarian who did some fuck shit, but they don't want to apologize for it. I don't, I can't see him coming down my eyes, so I got to make the song cry. It could be an Aquarius who um, is doing some fuck shit and they don't want to apologize about it. There's just like, which can, that's an, some Aquarians are like that. I'm not saying all, but there are Aquarians out there. They do not, they do not, when they're not ready to admit their faults, they're not going to. They will probably eventually, but when in that moment or at the time, it's like a brick wall. You're not going to control them or get to get them to apologize until they're ready. Okay. And this person is not going to get you to open up or talk to them until you're ready. That's very clear as well. Okay. So the signs I did see here are Taurus, definitely Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and get into the extended. Let's see what your person's feelings are towards you because your feelings are very clear. You are not messing with this person right now. I don't know what they did and why they did it and who they did it with, but you are not feeling them. So we're going to look at this person's thoughts towards you, Aquarius. We're going to look at their feelings towards you. We're going to look at what's going on outside the connection. And we're also going to look at the outcome for you all to, uh, uh, together. And we're also going to look at some oracles from my deck and some um, oracles from the Rose Bay Tarot. We have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. So there's been some um, some miscommunication, some retrograde energy. You might have already started dating other people. There could be some competition in this connection. So I'm interested to see what happened, what this person did to get you like this, Aquarius. I want to see. So follow me over there. Again, all the links are in the description box. Please check out my Patreon. Any type of readings you might need from me are down in the, uh, in the description box. And the link to this extended is there, okay? I try to price it affordable. So I think, you know, if you want to get the um, extended, it is there and it does support the channel. And I appreciate it, okay? Make sure you share this video, like, and comment, and subscribe if you are new, okay? I'll see you in the extended Aquarius. Love you guys. Till next time. Peace.